Hello, I'm Suzanne Hearn, Vice President of Marketing and Sales for Forest to Market. I'd like to talk to you today about how Forest to Market got its start. Before founding Forest to Market, Pete Stewart led the development of the industry's first web-based forest inventory management and mapping system. He was responsible for planning and harvest schedules for $350 million of institutional timberland. And he led acquisition projects in Argentina and Brazil. He was actively involved in many of the major southern timberland transactions between 1994 and 1999. Pete received his bachelor's degree in forestry from Texas A&M University and his master's degree in forest economics from the University of Georgia. In 2000, Pete Stewart was meeting with a group of investors who were on the verge of a multi-million dollar decision to buy timberland. Pete had played a major role in calculating the value of that land and the standing timber. While there was a lot of discussion that day about the deal, one thing everyone agreed on was the accuracy of the data was suspect and no one believed the data was worthy of a multi-million dollar decision. But it was all that was available and at the time, the industry standard. The problem with the data available to Pete and the investors in that meeting in 2000 was it lacked credibility. The market price data available was survey-based and simply not credible. Pete had a simple question, why? When so many other industries had solved this same problem, why not the forest products industry? By the end of 2000, Forest Market was formed and in 2001, the first stumpage price database containing actual stumpage contract prices and corresponding tract attributes was made available to the industry. In 2006, the integrated forest products companies continued to divest themselves of their timberland and there was an increase in investor-owned land. Our stumpage customers asked Forest Market to develop a delivered price benchmark to address stumpage price, logging costs, and freight cost. In the third quarter of 2006, Forest to Market launched Forest to Mill, our wood raw material benchmark service. In 2007, our U.S. South customers who operated nationally approached Pete and asked if he would expand Forest to Mill into the Pacific Northwest. In October of 2007, the Pacific Northwest version of Forest to Mill was launched. Today, in the U.S. South, over 90% of the wood fiber transactions are collected in Forest to Mill annually. And in the Pacific Northwest, our market share is over 65% of the log data. Today, the Forest to Market Stumpage Database, its Forest to Mill U.S. South Benchmark and Pacific Northwest Benchmark have become the industry standard used by the majority of the forest products industry in the United States. In 2008, Forest to Market designed a series of products and services to meet the unique needs of the wood to energy market and launched Forest to Fuel. Also in 2008, our customers came to us again and asked that we apply the same standard for quality and accuracy of market data to the Southern Yellow Pine lumber market. In 2009, Mill to Market was launched. From its initial inception as a lumber price report, Mill to Market has quickly become an invaluable tool for executive management when making production and market related decisions. Today, over 800 market metrics are reported each week, and Mill to Market will continue to evolve in response to the needs of our customers. In May of 2011, Forest to Market launched Market to Mill, a recovered fiber monthly price report and quarterly benchmark for processors and mills who trade in OCC and DLK. In 2012, Forest to Market will expand Market to Mill to include mixed paper, sorted office paper, and export pricing. In addition, we will be forming an advisory council of industry experts that will give us guidance on the further evolution of the Market to Mill set of products and services. From its beginnings, Forest to Market has advocated for working forests and the industries they support. We have developed industry-changing solutions to some of the industry's most difficult problems. And we will continue to respond to our customers by enhancing current products and developing new product lines. 
Thank you for your interest in our story, and we hope that you check back with us for future updates.